Star Wars Resistance is getting closer and closer each day. I am Matthew, artist, author, and commentator, and these are my offhand remarks on a closer look at Star Wars Resistance. So another trailer just came out uh, less than an hour ago. Um, Filoni and some other people at Lucasfilm, Athena, I can't remember her name. Uh, anyway, uh, they're all talking about Resistance, and some of the actors are featured, and uh, I just wanted to go ahead and give myself about... I grabbed a couple snaps, um, and... I wanted to give myself like 20, 30 seconds to talk about each of the different images and just kind of what I thought about them. This is a nice little group shot. I'm figuring that these five here are kind of going to be our main our main uh, people in the show that we're going to spend time with. So, and I just, I think this is a good shot. It looks good. It looks, I don't know, fun. It has a nice, a nice feeling to it. I think the thing that I'm most interested about... Um, uh, resistance right now, or the thing that has me most interested, because it's saying, they're saying clearly in the marketing that it's definitely for kids, is just how slick and beautiful the animation is. I understand these are CG models, but somebody had to made them, make them, and that composition, uh, a human had to be behind that. The, the direction of this scene of these uh, ships flying here, racing, whatever, uh, is really interesting. Speaking of racing, um, Filoni mentioned that Team Fireball, which is Kaz and his crew, uh, Jaeger is the older guy with the dreadlocks. Um, he was a rebel pilot before, um, and he doesn't want to be involved with that. But he, So he's running a racing team here on uh, Colossus, the Colossus installation. And, uh, I mean, just look at all the background characters. You did not get this sort of thing in Rebels. So I either this animation's cheaper or Disney gave them a bigger budget or something because this is not what you saw before in Rebels and even in early Clone Wars, and it looks really great. So I love the depth of this. Anyway, so Team Fireball um, is needs to race like to keep on living, and Kaz is doing his spy stuff on the side. And then here's a glimpse we got at the Resistance. Um, I don't know who this guy is. Uh, in the chair, he reminded me of um, the guy who showed up in the Poe uh, comic, um, like an intelligence officer, but I doubt it's him because uh, he looks like he has too much hair, and he wouldn't be involved in this series probably. Uh, but then you got this, you know, neat red stormtrooper. I'm loving all the pops of color that we're getting in this show. Yeah, it's four kids. I, I mentioned the Power Rangers connection, and even on um, making Star Wars, uh, Jason Ward mentioned uh, how like, oh, you should be able to make Power Rangers in Star Wars and have it be really cool. And I agree because the aesthetic of Power Rangers and Super Sentai is amazing. And if you confuse it with the awesome storytelling of Star Wars, not that Super Sentai isn't as good or sometimes better than Star Wars, um, but it, it can definitely sell. And then just, this is a great, another great shot. Look at this. The, the shadows, the shading, the direction where the camera is, it's all beautiful, and I love the way it looks. The more I see of Resistance, the better it looks. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up now. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you can watch every video as it becomes available. Thank you so much for your time. If you enjoy my work, please give it a like and share it. If you'd like to chat, hit me up in the comments or tweet me at rcmoon. That's R-C underscore M-U-N. Anyway, uh, are you liking the look Resistance better based on this trailer? Answer in the comments, please. And uh, uh, be well and remember, don't curse that darkness. Shine your light. Until next time.